Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. I'm off the homestead today, working on SP1's solar shed. As you can see, uh, got a little generator sitting here, a little Honda U2200i. Got a uh, twist lock charging plug. Twist lock cord. So let's uh, let's take a gander at this power shed first. I'll go in and show you what's inside. So this is all hand milled by SP1. Uh, rough cut on his sawmill, insulated, concrete block foundation, a door that would withstand a tank blast, literally. So let's go inside and take a look. So walk into the uh, powerhouse, it's all fireboard. It's all been painted. Got parallel grow watts on the wall. We'll go over all the specs in a minute. Uh, this is not complete yet. Still working on this project. Uh, solar is going to be on uh hopefully next few weeks but this is just the, the beta test version proof of concept make sure everything works i'll go over all the components in a minute big monster 20 kilowatt battery bank right there sock batteries 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries they are series to make 24 volts because these are 12 volt batteries series for 24 and then parallel together each bank has its own disconnect so of course everything's gonna be labeled all fancy when it's done. This is just getting it up and running, to have some backup power, and uh, you know, I said temporary. Just a little uh, UPS proof of concept showing that uh, yeah we're sending power through. A 20 space panel right there, and then two grow watts in parallel. And that's the good thing about these grow watts; they're affordable. Uh, you can parallel them, you can triplex them, quad them, and you can add them all all kind of different configurations together. And a cool thing about this one, having them paralleled or triplex together, you can change your, your input screens. So like this, this is the slay one. This one's the master. And you can see I've got this one set up to show the battery voltage and the load. So there you go, nine watt load off that light bulb. Then I've got this one showing our input, which I'll show you that in a minute. And then our output voltage, and you can scroll through see all the different whatever settings you want so you know pretty cool I like the uh, like the grow watts quite a bit they're a good affordable option so ventilation hole I still gotta add a cooling fan in there let me uh, grab the fan so it's a uh, flow through gonna use a little uh, 20 watt VFD fan there's ventilation behind me to keep this room cool because the grow watts discharge their, their exhaust air right here. So it's all going to get sucked out of the hole right there. Heat rises. So all the hot air will go that way. The cooling vents behind me are down low to the ground. So it's going to exchange all the air in this equipment room. Which I like little grow watts. Everything's, we got uh, breakers right there, terminal blocks, big one and alt wire, and uh, 100 amp fuses on the batteries here so yeah just a basic run of the setup now let me show you a cool thing with this little Honda generator and this twist lock I'm going to show you how to charge these until you get your if you're setting up something like this before you get your solar array up how you can charge your your batteries up and uh, maintain them with the generator so get your twist lock in there and this is like an RV style this is meant for RVs it's way overkill it's rated for 50 amps, but I've got the Grow Watts current limited. The Grow Watts have so many settings. I mean, for a budget inverter, I love the Grow Watts. This even has a little light. I'll show you that working in a minute too. But I've got it current limited to 15 amps. This is a brand new generator, so uh, it's rated for 15 amps. The Honda will do a little bit more than that, but uh, you know, just current limited to not overload the generator. I'm trying to break this in, so I've been ramp loading uh, the generator all day. Uh, changing the amperage setting on the grow watt so that lets me ramp the load up and down on the generator so it seats the rings and stuff in good breaks it in good but anyhow let me get this started and uh, I'll let you hear it how it ramps up and show you all the you know how it charges and show you all the data off of that power room where you can hear me. I'm going to close the door behind me. And there we go. You see our input 
and that voltage will drop as the Honda starts loading up. That's just unloaded on the Honda's why it showed 127 volts. You probably hear it in a minute, it'll start loading up and crack its door so you can hear. Hear it ramp load. Can you hear it loading? Listen to the generator. Oh yeah. So she's loading up. You see the battery voltage is going up. You can see the input voltage has come down where the Honda's loaded itself up now from the grow what. So I thought y'all might like to see how that works. And that's the good thing about having that ramp loading. It won't overload a generator. So uh, you yeah, know, just a good, another good thing about the grow watts, the way it ramps up the load on the charging. So you yeah, got pretty cool, pretty cool little setup. You can see the battery voltage climbing. Awesome. I don't know if you can hear over the generator, but check it out. It's even got a little indicator on this adapter here, this RB twist lock. So it shows you got juice to it. And even the little, the little plug's got a, an indicator light on it. This is just temporary drop cord, 10 gauge drop cord is what's really needed on this. But uh, that's a 12 gauge. Yeah, that's fine for what we're doing, but it'd be better to have a 10 gauge. But this is just proof of concept, getting everything set up today. And for those of you who may be curious of the specs on the Grow What, I'm gonna scroll down the data tag here. So you can see our max PV input right there all the all the good information here so i'll let you go real slow so you can read all this you can see what all kind of specs this thing will do so and each each one's got its own charge controller and stuff so you, know, you put two of them together you get double the power so you know grow what's are awesome and another thing i didn't mention a minute ago was this generator is up under this cover exhaust is going that direction so if it's raining run that generator no problem uh you don't have to use this little honda you could use anything similar with a good clean clean sine wave because you're using pass through i would not recommend a construction style generator in this application i would recommend an inverter because you want that power real clean because it passes through the grow watts so you can hear the cooling fans running where it was charging so yeah, just a good little setup these grow watts are awesome easy to use come with a good manual uh, if you want to see some grow watt settings or how to use them uh, next trip when I wire in the solar panels you just let me know in the comments and I will uh, go over whatever settings you want me to help you set up and then the batteries battery settings that depends on your manufacturer I know somebody's probably gonna ask that already but that just you gotta look at your owner's manual on your battery to determine your voltage and uh, this is also forgot to cover this a minute ago this is a parallel and communications cable so it uh that's how they talk to each other to get in sync with phase and everything like that voltage wise. So, you know, big, huge battery cables overkill on everything. So figured I would share with everybody and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't mind, hit that like button. Questions or anything, go ahead and put in the comments. And if you're interested in any, all this, all these components, I'll have some links to some of this stuff in the video description in case you're interested in looking some of it up for your, if you want to build your own little setup. But anyhow, uh, if you're not subscribed, I greatly appreciate a subscription from you. Thank you for watching the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Y'all have a nice day.